Hello everyone, I am going to uh, install Angular 17 without a standalone component. Uh, let's see here, I have created a project using a standalone component. Um, see here uh, in the component section, the standalone equal to true by default and imports route outlet here. Uh, basically, in Angular 17, I uh, introduced uh, the great features to the improving the performance, and by this, uh, the, uh, remove the app that module classes to handling the routing. Now, uh, the routing basically work uh, all the component as a work as a standalone. So that's why uh, the features is available by the default in Angular 17. If you want to uh, is, uh, want to use a standalone equal to false, that you uh, will need to uh, decide this one at the time of creating the project. No project. So uh, let's start how to uh, do this. Uh, go to the project folder where you want to create uh, I am going to create a folder uh, open the terminal window uh, I am going to type the ng new and your project name uh, let's see the name of the demo and uh, mention here is standalone Yes, stand alone false and click on the enter. Demo is basically the project name. That's that's I'm creating using Angular 17 with standalone equal to false. If I'm not if I will not mention the standalone is equal to false and that it will create uh, the default is equal to true. If see here the option to choose the CSS, I will pick the CSS and press the enter. Uh, now here is the uh, server side rendering and the uh, stx generation true but uh, I am using standalone is equal to false so I will pick no. Otherwise, uh, I will pick uh, S. But uh, in, this in this situation, I am picking an option. Now, creating the files for this project. It's taking some time, so please take your patience. Basically, uh, there is the installing packages and PM packages, so it's taking some good time. Uh, for the angular 17 uh, basically angular team recommend to use uh, with standalone by default is equal to true basically uh, they improve the great uh, performance features and security feature as well but uh, you are not familiar with this but basically this is the new uh, if you want to use this standalone to the first time you can use this one also <coughs> uh, it's taking me time please take patience on It's taking some time. Let's take persons. It's taking some time. Let's take persons on it.
now uh, see here all the packages are installed so uh, type the C T and project name demo and go to this directory and type the command to open this project code dot see here uh, the demo project open here is the project architecture see click on this rc and click on the app now you can see here the app module class is created here <coughs> so click on the app component see here is the not mention the default the standard one is equal to true basically this one is the uh, your old architecture that uh, you want to create now uh, click on the terminal and type the ng serve okay. run this project it's taking some time so please take patience now see here Yes, taking the time, please take a patience. Basically, creating the uh, local runtime environment. Now, your port. Okay. This is the basically local host port that uh, created the 5.9.7.0 basically i already uh, run the another port so the default port is created here see here is the uh, angular 17 project run uh, with uh, app.module class i hope uh, you got how to install without a standalone component in angular 17 and this is the process ok got it thanks for watching the video